Jane Keller Rossborough serves as the director of Carlisle Upward Sports. had been involved with Upward a little bit whenever I was younger, um, but I didn't realize that it had all these other facets. So um, can you tell me a little bit more about what kind of sports are involved with Upward? The sports that Carlisle Upward sponsors are flag football, which run um, from mid-August till the end of October, and then basketball. Practices begin beginning of December and then the games run in January and February. And we also sponsor cheerleading for both of those sports. Okay. And how does um, the Christian uh, faith tie into this sport event? Upward is not focused on competition. It's focused on building relationships with the kids, allowing them to see Christ through all of our coaches and the volunteers who run the program. At each practice, halfway through, uh, the team sits down and huddles together and has a devotion. They have memory verses. Um, many of the coaches will give out rewards if they know the verse. As well as during games at halftime, uh, the concession stands shut down and everyone sits while there's a meditation. That's nice that not only is it for the kids, but also then the family that comes to watch their children can get that devotion right. time as well. We tried to build a community. Mm -hmm. um, for many, it could be the only community of faith that they're involved. Right. 25 to 30 percent of the kids historically who are involved with Upward have no church affiliation. Wow. So it's our opportunity at Carlisle UMC to reach out to them and give them an opportunity to see what um, a Christ-filled atmosphere is like. Do you have any specific stories of maybe a child that um, you could really see grow in their faith throughout this program? Um, last year before I accepted the position of director, I volunteered to do many of the devotions during the halftime basketball games. And um, really how I became involved was I could literally see God's Spirit move through, through that gym as we shared devotions. And then things started happening. Uh, we had kids who asked for Bibles, hmm. who never had a Bible of their own, families asking for information about the church or how they can spiritually guide their children. Uh, one week I did a devotion on the clutching cross, and the next week found in my mailbox a half a dozen handmade clutching crosses, which then we gave out to families who we knew were going through some sort of crisis in their families just to remind them that they did have a community praying for them and supporting them. As part of the relationship building, do you pray with the kids and their family? We begin each game day with a prayer, actually each hour game. We begin with a community prayer with everyone. We also have an opportunity where we have a large cross that we introduce using the clutching cross meditation at, with post-it notes so that they are able to just anonymously sneak off, put their prayer requests up, and then the leadership team gathers around the cross and prays over those concerns and each take one with us so that the family is prayed for throughout the week. And each game during the flag football season, which is the first season we've used it, there have been at least three or four prayer requests that are left there by kids or their families. It is a neat idea that it's a little anonymous way, but that you can learn what's going on in the mm -hmm. kids' lives and, and be able to pray for them. And it's a visual for them. Mm -hmm. Can you describe a little bit about what a clutching cross is? A clutching cross is a cross that fits in the palm of your hand, and it was designed for a family who um, was going through a crisis and were so deeply hurt that they weren't able to pray for themselves. But that cross reminded them that others in their community were supporting them in prayer. Yeah, that's a neat idea and something tangible that maybe the people mm -hmm. um, can take away from one of those devotions is to have those little clutching crosses. What are the age groups that are involved in Upward? Upward begins at age five, and we have three teams through eighth grade for um, both sports as well as cheerleading. Have you seen any of the families get involved and plugged into a church from we this have. program? We have. Um, our football program, we use the fields at Wagner's United Methodist Church, and there have been a couple families who have um, 
began to to attend at Wagner's. We've also had families and people from our leadership team who have come to Carlisle United Methodist and gotten involved there. So it's a great outreach ministry to bring people in. Mm -hmm. um, sports are such a big thing with families and with kids, so I think it's great that um, you can find a way to tie in your faith with that. So I thank you for um, spending that volunteer time and effort to help this program really grow. Well, thank you. <laughs> If you would like to see more Susquehanna Express episodes like this one, you can check out my Facebook page at Susquehanna Express.